How to install Viper for Android sound mod on the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. What's up peeps, Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Viper for Android sound mod on your Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. Now, as you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro and I am running MIUI 12 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The only prerequisite for this video is that you need to be rooted using Magisk and need to have Magisk Manager installed. The next thing you need to note is that your SE Linux will change from enforcing to permissive and in case you want to know more about that i do have some links in the description of the video and in the pinned comment as well so make sure you read those before you ask me how does changing the se linux from enforcing to permissive affect your device now what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and you need viper for android fx and the next thing you need is acdb these are the two magisk modules which you need first thing we'll do is we will open terminal emulator and go into super user mode and then we can check our se linux so we're going to type in get enforce and there it is as you can see my se linux right now is enforcing however once we are done installing viper for android on our redmi k20 pro it will change to permissive next thing we will open magisk manager three bar menu on the top left go into modules now I do suggest that you remove any other sound mod which you have installed because they might interfere with ACDB and Viper for Android. Next thing, tap on the plus sign and then click on the three dot menu on the top right and select show internal storage. If you get the option as hide internal storage, then you need not do anything. Next up, click on the three bar menu on the top left and select your device's name, in this case the Redmi K20 Pro. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the files. In case you downloaded the files on your phone directly, they will be in the download folder. In my case, I have transferred them manually so they are in the root directory. The first file which we need to flash is the ACDB file. So all you need to do is select ACDB, wait for Magisk to install the module, and then once the module has installed successfully, all you need to do is click on reboot and there it is you can see that module was installed we are going to select reboot now once we have booted back into android we are going to unlock our device and as you can see the super wallpaper is not working however that is not something which has to do anything with acdb it's just me ui next up we will open magisk manager one more time three bar menu on the top left go into modules as you can see acdb was installed successfully and it is active next thing click on the plus sign one more time and the next module which we need to install is the viper for android all you need to do is just select the file and once the file has installed successfully we are going to reboot our device there it is finalizing module everything was done select reboot back into android and well the live wallpaper from me ui the super live wallpaper is working absolutely fine this time around we can unlock our device Magisk Manager one more time, three bar menu on the top left and then go into modules. You can see that both ACDB and Viper for Android are active. If you open the application drawer, there it is, Viper for Android in the building. We can open it, allow it access, tap on OK. And then you can click on the three bar menu on the top left and check for driver status. There it is, neon enabled is yes, which means Viper for Android was installed successfully. We can open terminal emulator one more time go into super user mode and then we can check for se linux and bam there it is you can see that my se linux did change to permissive next up we can check for the wi-fi because there have been reports of wi-fi not working for starters i will show you that i am running the stock kernel on my device wi-fi is connected we can of course open chrome browser and Wait for the page to load up there it is you can see that the page did load up absolutely fine which means wikipedia is working which in turn means that the internet is also working next up we can open viper for android and 
as you can see we do have the driver status as neon enabled as yes which means wiper for android is working and the driver is also installed and here is a brief demo of wiper for android working like a boss on the redmi k20 pro And there it is peeps that is how you install wiper for android on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro running mi ui 12 based on android 10 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you